What's up, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Jared. Y'all, um, I know that my last video I did on Kendra was a little, was a little fiery. Or was too hot for a lot of people to handle. But, um, this one is probably going to be bad, too. And seeing the comments, bruh. Yeah, I got a feeling this one's gonna be gonna piss me the fuck off. So uh, let's let's go ahead and do it. Oh my god! Hello. Okay, let me put you ready, bro? Yes, let me put the light on. And I'm like naked because I asked to be on your show you like every me day. Naked? Well, yes, because I asked me on your show every day and I never got picked. So like, you don't expect to get picked ever. So you don't have no clothes. Did she just say that she didn't expect to get picked, so she called in butt-ass naked onto a dating platform. Don't know when she going to get picked, but she thought today wasn't going to be the day. So she decided to go, decided to call in and be butt-ass naked. What the f- Boy, you can't make this goofy-ass shit up. I was just relaxing, watching TV, waiting on my food, and then like you don't expect to get picked. Now I see what they. But what if you can get picked and now you buck your naked? So how are you gonna do the Kendra can? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on some clothes. I promise. Shh. Let me repeat. Let me rewind this shit back. Did she say what I think she just said? My food, and then like you don't expect to get picked. Now I see what they. But eat what if you can get picked and now you buck your naked? So how are you gonna do the? Yo, dumbass. So just just keep in mind, whatever she says and whatever I say on this podcast, she gets it because her dumbass deserves it. Okay, I'm gonna just let you know that right the fuck now, she deserves it. What she about to get? What she about to get? Kendrick, I'm gonna put on some clothes. I promise. Your ass could have had on some fucking pajamas or something. Yo, you is butt ass naked. Nothing. You skinty. Nothing. You ain't got shit on. You literally get. Nah, man. Shut up, Jared. I ain't go damn go all into it. Why we talking? How? Um, well, listen. My thing is, why would y'all even chance calling into a show? Be, you know what, what it is? Like every day, I ask me your show, and I never got picked. So you just be thinking like, she ain't gonna pick me. That is the dumbest logic I've ever fucking seen. That is the dumbest shit I've ever fucking heard. So, I don't think that I'm going to get picked, so I'm going to just call in, and I don't think I'm going to get picked, so I'm going to just be butt naked. What kind of logic does that fucking make? You's a real dumbass. All that forehead ain't got nothing behind it. And your ass got picked. You got on a thong? You got on anything? No, I'm a nudist at home. Oh, you a nudist. You like to be naked. Yes. Let me get to know you more. What's your name? Shh. My soul just got irritated. My name is Lynette. 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 More like it. Where are you calling me from? Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. How old are you? 36. 36. What do you do for a living? I'm an esthetician. Esthetician. Do you have any kids? One. How old is your one child? 13. She's going to be 13 seven days, so she's 13. Okay. So she sees you walk around the house butt naked? Every day. Well, two weeks. I have a joint custody. So two weeks out the month, yeah. You just be at the kitchen table, ass out. Just ass out every day. Okay. The father need full custody. I, I think you would forget the dog on put on. I think you forgot. I think you would forget to put fucking deodorant on if somebody didn't tell you to. Okay, your esthetician. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. Libra. Have you ever been married? No. No. So we got. Of course she hasn't. None of them ever are. Lynette, Miami, Florida, 36, Libra, esthetician. One child that's 13, right? Yes. Okay. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? I am a dumbass. I'm looking for a man who knows what he wants. 
a man who already has kids because I do not want any more. Um, someone who lives in South Florida. Uh, tall, but I don't really care about height. So tall. And How the fuck you gonna say tall? Then you gonna say I don't care about height? Oh my god, this this bullshit is really starting to aggravate the the aggravate the fuck out of me. Preferred, but five eight and above. Um, what else? Educated, common sense. Unlike the common sense that your ass needed to have put on some damn clothes to get on a damn dating show. That's about it. Are you looking at who's that? No, she's not here. I'm just home by myself. Okay. Turn your TV off if you can. Oh, okay. She says she wants somebody with common sense, yet she lacks it. You have one child, correct? Someone said yes. kids. One kid. Because it's, it's like having two, because they're expensive. So I have one, but it's like having two. You have one child, but it's like having two? Right. Because she's expensive. You have one child, but it's like having two. You the second one, stupid. Oh Jesus! This 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 chick starting to aggravate the fuck out of me. She's talking about she wants somebody with common sense, and ain't even got a damn piece of common in her damn my, her damn life, let alone sense. How the fuck does that work? Okay, okay. What are your deal breakers? Narcissist. Um, broke man. Narcissist and a broke man. Should I should I cook her ass right now? Or should I not? You talking about a, you talking about narcissistic? You do you even know what narcissism is? And then broke. Uh, apparently, you need somebody to slap you with a damn wad of cash because your damn hair is all over the fucking place. Man with more than. We can't hear you. Oh. A man with more than four kids. Okay. Hold on. Seven nine zero three. What's that? Seven nine zero three. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's the Uber person trying to get in my um to order serve, you know, for food. I need a drink. I need a fucking drink. That girl, you just got so much shit going on today. So the Uber driver's coming to your house and you ain't got no clothes what? on. How you gonna open the he gonna, he gonna, he, I'm gonna put on the towel for the Uber driver. So you got the towel right here. Open the door in towels? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. We can't hear you, Lynette. We cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. Did someone try to call you? can call my phone so now i gotta like i'm gonna just meet him at the front gate but so what, i can stay on the phone with you but what i'm saying is you open the door for strangers in a towel yeah you're making me feel bad kendra no it's common damn sense y'all talk about protection all the goddamn time that's some lord have mercy lord have damn lord have mercy Common sense would have told your dumb ass to put some fucking clothes on if you got Uber coming to get damn drop off your clothes. I mean, drop off your food. You want common sense, but your ass ain't got a bit of common damn sense in your damn life. How in the fuck does this? <sighs> Never mind. I ain't. I ain't gonna fuck it. You, you, you bitches, you broads is aggravating my motherfucking soul. I'm serious. Girl. But I, but I'm gonna put on a little dress. See, I'm gonna put on something. Put on something. Do not open the drink. Do not open the door for Uber drivers <laughs> and towels. You have to do what you have to do, Kendra. You don't have to. Yes, you are have about to do what you gotta do. Put put some clothes on your damn body. You don't have to how specific you are about people having on clothes, lighting. I'm not talking like, about that right now. We talking about a. 
Ooh. What the <laughs> fuck? Oh my god. You gotta do put put some clothes on your damn body. You know how specific you are about people having on clothes. Oh my God! You had you so you know how you are specific about people having on clothes. Duh! It's common fucking sense. Have some clothes on. Put something over your coochie cat. Put some on your titties. Put a dress on. Put some sweatpants on and a damn a damn two little ass sh something. Oh my god. Lighting. I'm not talking about that right now. We're talking about a stranger coming to your door and you open the door in a towel. Like you just got off the shower. A stranger shouldn't be privy to that. See? I got on clothes. See? See how fast I did that? I won't even answer the door for him because if I do. If I do, it's gonna like hang up. So I gotta go to the front gate now. If you if you open the door for me, it will hang up. Like if I if I click over, it's gonna hang up on you. So now I gotta go to the front gate because I don't want to hang up on you. What did you order from this damn Uber? Some crazy poke. See my neighbors are quiet. I'm sorry, Kendra. I thought I was gonna Kendra, you think I'm joking? Get we be trying every day. Every day. I have not missed a show. I ain't never got picked from. He probably not gonna deliver my food. If common if uh, the lack of common sense was a person, she would be the dad gone she'd be the damn per she'd be the damn face of it. This is just fucking insane. And you want a man? Oh my Jesus. Okay, but that story is she's going to pick up her Uber food and yes. she doesn't want to click over I, because I don't want you to hang up. If I hang up, I ain't going to see you no more. I'm going to be sad. So I got, I got, I'm going to go get the food right now. So we're on an Uber run. So she lives in a high, a high dollar fucking uh, apartment or townhouse and she drives a Mercedes. And if you don't know the charm of Mercedes, is what is what that tune was was. That's what that was. She's driving a Mercedes. Damn, that's bad. I could tell the sound of a car. I could tell what she's driving by the sound of the car. And from the way it looks, it looks like it's a damn G L A or G L C. That's bad. I know these cars that good. Mm. On right now, cousins. We're on an Uber run, and we're going with her on this Uber run. It's, it's rough getting on your show, Kendra. It's hard. Imagine trying every day. For <laughs> I don't know let people drive out there as they're on the show. How far are you driving to, girl? I'm just driving to the front gate. See, we just had a the front gate. Oh, I feel like I, I feel like we've been on a date with this lady. We met her. We watched her get dressed. Now I got we're dressed. going to pick up the food together. Like this is the whole leave my food. That's, I'm praying to God he didn't leave the food because I, I just got hope he at the front because my. My security be acting extra. And this is why your insurance rates be going up. Because you got broads like this driving like that on the damn phone. This is why your insurance sky fucking rockets every time one of these broads hits you in the ass because she ain't paying the fuck attention. But I'm ready. I, I That's okay. I ordered a deal. So you're driving to the... How far is your bill? Is this a far drive? It's no, it's like a little gated community, so I'm going to the front gate. Well, we're gonna let you pay attention. I don't want to talk to you while you're driving. Safety's first over here. Safe, safety is first. Girl, every time I used to get cute and everything, and now today, it's like I don't know. Like you call me on my worst day. This I did not call you. Why in the hell? Hold up, wait, wait. Did she just say that she? Wait, did she just say? That she called her. Wait, 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 wait. Safety is for every time I used to get cute and everything, and now today it's like I don't know. Like you. First of all, why do you keep looking at the phone? And you be looking at the phone for like.
two, three, five seconds. Like, <laughs> boy, <laughs> I'd be scared to be riding around her damn neighborhood. Call me on my worst day. This I did not call you. You, you called me. You right. You right. I called you on my worst. See, here come the Uber. Person. People say, why do I correct people when they say that? It's very important. You called her. And you over here talking about she called you. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Lord, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. You can't make this up. Jesus, take the da Jesus, take the wheel. Lord, Jesus, take the wheel. I can't deal with this no more. Just take the wheel, Lord. Because I call no one, and, I, and it's the self-accountability that I'm trying, that you have to accept. Because you volunteer to be on the show. I call no one. You got your food? Okay. All right, Kendra. I'm, 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 I'm ready. See, I had to get my food. Okay, let's I'm ready. finish the... I think we might... Are you driving back home? Now I'm going to drive back to the, to the house. Kendra, you're making me feel bad, Kendra. <sighs> let, let me let, let this hot fucking mess finish. Cousin. I, I, I ordered food an hour ago. You know how long Uber Eats take. Then I was waiting. I was in the bed. Yeah, but I'm, I'm ready now. Okay, you better get you better get situated because they telling me to hang up on you. Why? I got good lighting and everything. You don't see the light? But well, in the meantime, are other people like her? Do y'all walk around your house bucket naked? Uh, are y'all new this? It's a lot of people walk around the house butt naked, Kendra. It's, nobody's at home. I'm okay, if, if even if so, you should not answer the doors bucket naked. Okay. Don't answer I'm, the I'm, door. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna answer the door, but naked. But I have a ring camera, so I usually just let them know, like, okay, put it on the floor and I come get it. But I'm like almost one more time, girl. Thirty seconds. They 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 say you're doing the most. <sighs> See, yes, we're literally on a date with her right now. We done watched her get dressed. I want to go pick up the, the food. food. Now we're going back to the house. We're going back to the house. We almost out there. Literally thirty seconds. I'm gonna park crazy and everything. Just to make I mean, sure. Did all this to be a part of the show at this moment? Yeah, I mean, I'm almost right? She literally about to hear something. Like, like, if you don't think I, if you think I'm lying, listen to this. Be a part of the show at this moment. Yeah, I mean, I'm almost right? Those backup alarm, those back, those 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 alarms that just sounded. That's for her front, her front um parking sensors. Oh my god. I'm not the worst guest. This guest way worse than me. They be at the club, the casino. Okay, I'm home. Look, I didn't hang it up, but she. At this point, that's a hot fucking mess. Somebody, somebody, please tell me her child is okay. Cause that Lord Jesus, you, you, you can't make this goofy ass shit up. You can't. There's no way you can make this shit up. Ain't no way in the hell you can make this damn bullshit up. Sorry about that. You can't make this shit up. And the fact that this bullshit, <laughs> you you cannot make this up. And the and the crazy part is, she think this shit's okay. She thinks this bullshit is okay. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> you you mm, at this point. Mm. You know what? 
Like, share, subscribe to the channel, support the podcast on spotify.com. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. If you guys want to support the podcast, please, uh, if you want to support the podcast, please send her super thanks or a super gift or whatever you want to send. Or you can send the money to the cash app at dollar sign skyrocket04 if you want to do that. Anyways, like, share, subscribe to the channel, support the podcast, and subscribe to the comment. I will see you guys on the flip side, and then you guys will listen. Bye, guys.